Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be importing this Inventor assembly into Sigma Nest. The first thing we need to do is open Sigma Nest. Go to the import icon and click on the drop down and select Inventor. Look at your assembly or parts and turn on interactive mapping, then click import. The SolidCAD desktop will come up. Depending on which 3D CAD system you use, will determine what options are available to you. We are using Inventor, so we get all the Inventor options. The Use iParts and iAssembly option allows you to load specific versions of the assembly or parts. For example, if you need to have bevels as a secondary operation, you can configure the Inventor assembly to suppress the bevels inside a configuration. The filter reference BOM will exclude the BOM reference files when importing an Inventor file. Select the Forming Features option if your parts have louvers, embosses, and things of this nature. This will allow SigmaNest to properly process these types of parts. If you have holes that need to be drilled, enable that function here. Please be aware, any holes created in Inventor intended for drilling should have been created with the hole function inside Adventor. If not, SigmaNest will not recognize those holes for drilling. If you do have holes in your part that were not created using the hole function, SigmaNest will detect those holes as regular interior contours. There's also some flexibility with the coordinate system. If you have a custom coordinate view set up with a specific name inside Adventor, Enter that name here, or designate the X and Y yourself. You can also use the global top view. You can use tags that you set up in Inventor also inside SigmaNest, and you have the freedom to map them however you wish. Once you set this all up, save it as a desktop for next time. That's all there is to it. 